did have a comment that from Warren Hess that ultra high frequency um, ID livestock tags can be read from a fairly long range and have been tested with helicopters successfully. So that would be another application. Well, this is Andreas. I just want to thank everybody for uh, taking the time today to listen in. I know we kind of gave a very general overview without going to a lot of specifics about what our universities are doing. So if someone is interested, you can, uh, you know, our information's on our bios there. You can contact us directly to get more specific information for questions that are not of a general nature. But, you know, if we did this in another year or maybe even six months, I'm sure we'd have completely different information because the technology and implementation is advancing so rapidly in this new, in this new market. So um, this is an exciting time to be uh, looking at UAVs and UASs, and I encourage everybody to look at ways that they can incorporate it into something that they're already doing. Okay, and we have a question from Rob Minen asking if there are requirements to have our unmanned vehicle tracked by GPS or other means so that we can track them down for times of misuse. Um, actually, uh, I could answer to a little bit of that one. There currently is not for the small recreational UASs. There's been a proposal that everyone that is sold should have a unique identifier on board, but that would add tremendous cost to those small ones. So all the large ones are required to be tracked. But the small hobby ones currently are not. So if it falls, it crashes on the White House lawn, for example, no one knows who flew it unless they come try to re retrieve their $1,000 UAV. So that's the problem right now. They're currently not required to be tracked. But with the new, um, there's a new system coming in where every airplane in the world will have a unique identifier attached instead of a, a code that you, you, you put in, it'll be permanently installed. So the idea is with this new technology, um, within a couple of years, it'll be small enough and economical enough that it will be um, required in future UAVs. But the problem is, what about the millions that have already been sold throughout the world, these small ones? So... I think we kind of missed, these, uh, missed some of that opportunity. Excellent. And then Diego has asked if there's more informa information on how to start a drone program. Um, it's actually learnuasag.org. We have, uh, um, we put on now about uh, 11 webinars to presentations per webinar, and uh, so there's probably, I'm guessing about 20 or so um, archived uh, webinars that are from all different universities and programs and things they're doing with unmanned aircraft. I think that would give some real uh, good ideas on how to start a program at a university that doesn't currently have. And this is Andreas for Diego. It, it depends on, are you looking to do one for research? or one to augment a current agricultural program. You know, again, that depends, you know, what level of, of use you want. If you just want to start a program to learn how to fly and operate them, that's pretty simple. Um, but if you want to learn a little bit about the research uses, that would be a little bit more complicated. And I, I recommend you go to the, the link that Wayne posted on there and, and do some research. You'd be surprised how much information. If you go to that, that page, I showed you the top 15 universities for UASs. If you go to each of their websites, You'll find information on what the schools are doing. Um, you know, they'll talk about their courses, their programs, and how they're implementing them. Um, and you're welcome to come visit uh, Utah State. I have an invitation. If anybody wants to come out and visit and, and see our program, um, we'll be more than happy. Dan Robinson and I will be at Oshkosh this summer in the drone zone talking about our UASs. We have 18-foot military-style drones as well as the, the micro UASs that we'll be showing at Oshkosh. So this is the first year for a big drone education program at Oshkosh. So if anybody wants to get there for Wisconsin, you can be able to have a great introduction to UAS systems. Yeah, I was going to mention, following up on the Oshkosh, that's in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It's called Air Venture. It's put on by Experimental uh, Aircraft Association. And, yeah, they'll. Uh, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, Unmanned aircraft stuff going on there. It's in uh, towards the end of July that it uh, takes place. It's about a week long event in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And if you just Google Air Venture, you can find a lot of information out about it. 
Yeah, 25th to the 31st of July. And uh, if anybody wants to come look me up there, we can, we can talk drones.